Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. <clears throat> now, I've switched over to Ubuntu recently, Ubuntu 12.10, mm. um, for various reasons. But the question has come up. We use uh, Telestream Wirecast here at Category 5 Technology TV. That software actually operates all of our cameras. It's very, very cool stuff. It runs on Microsoft Windows, and so we do have one Windows computer in the studio. But the rest of our computers here are, in fact, all Linux. Uh, so if I bring up the computer screen, for example, you know that this doesn't look like Windows at all because it is, in fact, a Linux computer. So one of the questions that came up recently was, okay, well, how do you actually do this? Because you're using all Linux computers. Are, are you running cables out of each computer through HDMI and into capture devices? Do you have like a, a capture device that is able to capture 200 different computer screens? The fact is, is that Telestream Wirecast includes some software with it that is called Desktop Presenter. And it is for Windows and Mac. And so you think, well, okay, well, and this is why the question came up. How do you do it to use that? to make it stream your Linux screen over to Telestream Wirecast. What Desktop Presenter does is it allows you to capture your screen on any computer through your LAN and broadcast it to Telestream Wirecast in such a way that it operates just like a camera. So I can actually switch to it in my sources. So if I want to switch, I just click, and there's my computer screen. And then I click again, and there's I am back to my camera. How cool is that? Now. In Linux, because there is no Linux version of Desktop Presenter, what we actually have to do is we have to grab the Windows version. So I'm going to go into my C drive on the Windows computer. This is my Wirecast computer. Go into Program Files x86, into Telestream Wirecast. And within that folder, you're going to find something uh, called codebook.dll. I'm going to just create a folder on my desktop. Uh, I'm going to call it Desktop Presenter. This is where I'm going to copy everything to. So notice I've got a, a licensed copy of Telestream Wirecast installed on this computer. Now there's a couple other files that I need there in the uh, RSRC, the resource folder. Just hit uh, D to jump down. You need desktoppresenter.exe and the uh, desktoppresenterhook.dll. So copy those and paste those ones uh, into there as well. So now I've got all the files that I need in order to basically transfer desktop presenter over to any Windows computer or Linux because what we're actually going to do is we're going to use a program called Wine and it allows us to run Windows programs on Linux. How cool is that? So now I'm going to actually copy that program, what, I, what we just created, the desktop presenter folder, onto my Linux machine. Um, so we'll just browse over to that on my network. There it is. So I'm actually going to cut it and uh, throw that into my home folder. OK. And the other thing that I want to do here, you see that there's a couple spaces in the file names. Just to keep things simple, I'm just going to remove those spaces as well. Uh, and that will just allow me to type it in a little bit easier in the, uh, in the terminal. Now I'm, I'm going to make the assumption that you've already installed Wine, the program that allows you to install uh, or run Linux applications on my Linux computer, the way to do that is to actually bring up terminal. So if you haven't done this already, this is all you need to do. sudo apt-get install wine, just like that. Once you have that program installed, you'll see if I hit enter, it's just going to tell me that, hey, you've already got the latest version because I've already got it installed. See that? Wine is already the newest version. I've installed it, so I don't actually need to um, to do that. You may need to, so I wanted to show you that. So now that I've got Wine installed, now let's actually bring up that folder again. I'm going to go there through Terminal, actually, and go into Desktop Presenter. Note that I removed the spaces there. And I'm going to type in Wine and then DesktopPresenter.exe. And you'll see one of the things that's happening here is that I'm missing msvcm90.dll. This is a common little issue with uh, wine is that you might be missing something. So I'm going to run what's called wine tricks. It comes with it. And uh, we want to actually go into default wine prefix and then install a Windows DLL or component. And scroll down here, we're going to actually find VC run 2008 because that particular file we're missing is a part of Windows Visual C++. So we just highlight that one, VC run 2008, and then hit OK once we've hit that checkbox. 
nice and simple stuff. That's now going to allow us to install that Microsoft runtime. Just go through the prompts just like any other Windows installer. Nice and simple. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try running it again. Uh, we can close out of Wine Tricks now. And I'm just using the default Ubuntu repositories here, Dave may do. We're not using a PPA or anything. So now I'm going to run that command again, and you'll see that it actually loaded just fine. Uh, on my Linux machine, I'm going to turn on 3D compatibility because I want to be able to uh, send the signal of, uh, you know, comp is and other kinds of tr transparencies and cool effects and things that come with, uh, with my Linux machine out of the box. So now that I've done that, I have confirmed that it's able to run. I'm going to close it out now, and then I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to rerun it, but I'm going to do so just by clicking on the application. It's an executable file, so we know it's a Windows EXE file, but now that we've got Wine and now that we've installed VB Run 2008, we can actually just double click on it. So note the window in the bottom right is actually my capture from Wirecast. So I'm going to double click actually on the desktop presenter.exe. And you'll notice instantly I've got a signal. I'm going to turn on 3D compatibility, and let's just click around on my computer and see the, the kind of responsiveness down in the bottom right there. So the big window is actually my computer screen, and the, uh, the little window in the bottom right is the capture as received at Wirecast. So you see that it's, it's, nearly, it's, it's instantaneous. I mean, the performance is fantastic. And this is over just, you know, I'm on a gigabit LAN, um, so I do get very good performance here. But that's all there is to it to actually get Wine to run Desktop Presenter. And now I can stream my Linux desktop over to Telestream Wirecast. And I can use that for broadcasting my screen. We here at Category 5 Technology TV, of course, we, we use that to be able to provide you with tutorials that have to do with Linux. And it's very important to us to be able to do that. That's perfect. And there you have it. So that's how you do it, folks. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.